You might have tuned in last week or last month at some point in time, or maybe you've just gotten lucky and stumbled upon three shining faces from the depths of your internet or television. But what you've come across, uh-huh, uh-huh, is episode nine of the Southern Oregon News Network, broadcasting live from the depth of Studio A. You may still be watching from about three minutes ago when we were, when we were here uh, talking about the presidential race and who's running. Right. It is possible that you did notice it was just three minutes ago. It's the same for us, too. We're sharing the same three-minute pause, actually. We're united. Together. As one. Now, last week or three minutes ago, depending on your sense of the time-space continuum, we were just getting into the uh, buoying, 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 buoying of the Democratic candidates with the gentle slashing on top of that because we like to keep our uh, besmirching a universal experience. But this week we have a much longer list to go through because the Republicans, for some reason, haven't quite gotten it together this year. There's a whole lot of dogs in that particular doghouse fighting for the same bone. We're going to see how it goes down. Now I, uh, excuse me, I'm still going through the crappy coffee that we made in the last episode. Uh, I think one of the candidates just dropped out today or yesterday. Anybody? Verifying. Verifying. Are you <laughs> talking about Jindal? Jindal, that's the guy. Oh. Jindal once was sexy contender, no longer is player in the game. I believe he was uh, governor of Louisiana. Apparently he had some sort of governorship. Mm -hmm. And uh, famously a painting of himself as a white man hanging in his office. Was he not white? No. Wow, then that's awkward. Yeah. That yeah. is awkward. But uh, he, he was a son of uh, Indian immigrants, I believe, that famously told uh, migrants that they should... Hit the road? No, uh, meld in. Try to... Oh, uh, yeah. oh assimilate. Passing. Yeah, assimilate. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's called passing. It's yeah, that's awful. A, it's a very rude uh, name for just becoming white, I think. Yes. Right. Uh, There's that privilege again. <laughs> I'm going to give the teleprompter a slice of pizza if you'd back it up to the beginning of the... That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, take it on a little bit further back. Oh, yeah. Until you see that word Republican at the top. Help us help you. Oh, there's Jindal. Uh, oh, yeah, Jindal. And uh, the pain. Yeah. And the painting. Yeah, the painting. Wow, look at that guy. Look you got it, Teleprompter. Yeah, yeah he's a, a handsome looking fellow, and we're sorry that he will not be gracing the steps of the White House with his charm and charismatic smile. Mm-hmm. Uh, Way to go, Studio, for getting that graphic for me. Yeah, that was really I mean, on top Maybe of it. the flash yeah. was just like turned up super high, and maybe the In painter. The painting? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> took. It's possible. Flash was turned I mean, up. Okay. Yeah. You know, okay. Sometimes people, you know, paint from photographs, and yeah. uh, I was just yeah. thinking that maybe yeah. this photograph in particular was turned up. Oh, the flash was a little bit too uh, high. He's got a white <laughs> I man haircut all that, too, actually. though. Wow, that that yeah, is the actually, painting, the, huh? That's oh boy, the he kind of looks like Archer. Wow, he does kind of look like Archer. Uh, I wonder weird. if it was the same guy. <laughs> maybe. Huh. He, maybe hmm. it's Archer. I'm going to go ahead and say that if you're going to run for president, you might as well run in your own skin and uh, bearing the, uh, the, <laughs> the mantle of your own ethnicity. Maybe I'm wild. I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm Gordon Mackey. <laughs> nice to see you back here again. Maybe you're just a privileged white man. Who's Maybe I'm a privileged to... white man who secretly wishes that he had a painting looking more Indian in his office. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> you want to uh, roll out the Republican uh, sheet here? Yeah, anyway, sure. moving on. The Republicans. Oh, we didn't do the dance. We didn't do the dance. Oh, the, the Republicans! Republicans! Oh, Yay. come on, ask God. Somebody's got too much Ooh. dignity. Yeah, we're anyway. married. We don't have that anymore. Oh, we got married. The two of us are married now. Isn't that crazy? We share the same <laughs> last name. Mackie. <laughs> Mackie for days. Uh, Mackie for days. We should change it to Aspen Mackie then. Oh, uh, I think she got changed to, uh, to no, I'm Aspen too f Mackie. I'm too feminist you're gonna for that. You're going to keep your... Uh, your ma your made up maiden name. I'm gonna keep my made up maiden. <laughs> name. I mean your your stage name. Hold on to your butts. Oh, let's all just sip from the coffee mugs. Moving on. Simultaneous ready. coffee mugging. There we go. Mm. We're gonna wash that a little bit. Now the uh, the Republican Party, for better or for worse, has been described as the heart party of America, in that the Democratic Party is often called the head party. Now, part of the reason for that is that they tend to do a little bit more thinking along long-term development strategy lines. Are you sure it's not from Clinton? Oh. From the Clinton days? Oh. Sorry. Bummer. No, that was totally <clears throat> legit. That was a great zinger right there. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> but the Republican Party is currently in what could be described as a deep thicket of self-identity crisis. 
Now, a lot of people in the party itself have found difficulty not defecting lately because the party doesn't seem to stand for anything more than a few weeks, depending on what current national polls are going. Now, in a strong and uh, healthy America, we would hope that both of our parties would get their balls back and really get back in the game with this one, but we'll see how it shakes down. But this year, the Republican hit list is going to be a long, laughable uh, road to comedy. Speaking of comedy, um, I was just reading how since being great at business is supposedly going to get you some kind of presidential candidacy, oh, yes. um, Paris Hilton just turned 35, and hey. if Trump can run for president being a big business mogul, then, uh, well, so can she. She's currently uh, worth about $3 billion at the moment. Wow. Wow. And uh, she, uh, her inheritance was much smaller than Trump's. I guess he inherited something like $200 million and is only worth, like, uh, four billion at the moment. Yeah, and, that's uh, pretty she, debatable. Yeah, she's she's just doing a Trump lot better is. than he is um, at that age. Yeah, you know, let's comparably. America, I had no idea the sales of One Night in Paris were so uh, lucrative. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good movie. I mean, <laughs> America, think about this. 2020. I'm saying super good looking candidate, right? She's very good looking and also a very good business mogul. And <laughs> you can see her presidential. Bush? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, oh, no. I thought we were oh, talking about the clowns that are already running, not oh. the... Yeah, oh, sorry. You know. Wait, we're supposed to be doing this Possible bipartisan Possible future yeah. vice sure. presidential candidates. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, here we go. Uh, Green Party. Without further ado, uh, rabid sun audience, let's go sailing through the choppy waters of the Republican candidates left in the race for 2016. Hang on to your butt, the blood is still flying. <laughs> and there is Paris Hilton. Perfect. Yes. Oh my goodness. How did you find that photo? You guys are brilliant. Good job, Lab. That was very impressive. Yep. Wow. You guys are on it tonight. You are. I think you're wow. drinking better coffee than we're drinking. Maybe Trump Certainly. should. Uh, maybe Trump should marry her and make Whoa. her the first lady. Oh Whoa. wow. Uh, I don't think she would ever go for that. He looks um, kind of like a, a bag of suet with a weird hairpiece on. Huh. Right. Let's, well, let's, let's do this. Oh. Oh. We've been told by the studio yeah. that we owe them more money. Uh, breaking news. The studio is rioting and wants a raise <laughs> in fundage. We'll, whatever we pay you now, we'll double it. That <laughs> super big booming voice from this guy scared the crap out of me. Good job, God voice. You want to lead the list on... Uh, uh, oh, sure. Let's see. Jim where where are we? Are we blood of blah, uh, blah, Jim blah, 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 Jim Gilmore. Like okay. Person. So actually, yeah, I didn't pay much attention to the Republican running candidates at all. So this well, is going to be news to me too. Luckily, with a teleprompter, you can just pretend like you did. Oh, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Jim Gilmore. Who is he? Is he right? Is he? Is he left? Uh, no, I think it's who is he? Question right? mark. Right? Oh, who oh, is I he? see. Yeah, yeah. This it's is like some right, fun it's reading. <laughs> Gilmore was governor of Virginia from 1998 to 2002. Before that, he chaired the Republican National Committee for a year. In 2008, he ran for Senate in Virginia and lost to Mark Warner by 31 points. Mark Warner. Ouch. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of points. That's um, a loss. Um, do we know if he can win? Do we care? Do we want him to run? Nah. Yeah, I don't think anybody really no. cares. Nobody cares. No. Nobody's really yeah. into this. Next. Uh, I'm not even into reading it. <laughs> She's not even into reading it. John uh, Kasich. Kasich? Kasich? Kasich. And we're going to go with Kasich. Who is he? Uh, the current Ohio governor ran once before in 2000 after a stint as Republican budget guru in the House. Hmm. Between uh, then and his election in 2010, he worked... At Lehman Brothers, ooh, that's yeah. that, that was not a popular choice. No, uh, <laughs> Republicans are all about run? big business, so yeah. No, who the hell does want him to run? Uh, uh, this says gooey. he's got better fiscal conservative uh, bona fides. Oh, bona fides. Bona fides. Bona fides. Bona fides. That's bona a big word than any other candidate in the race. He's proven he can win blue collar <laughs> voters, and he's won twice in a crucial swing state. Huh. We all know that this is like, you know, not even. Yeah. It's all no. about the electoral college. We're well, not even voting. Yeah, I mean, they're comparing him to Jen Bush anyway. Yeah. Uh, can can uh, he win the nomination? I think is the big question, right? Uh, he doesn't have the name recognition. No. It, 
That says it. Right. Yeah, well, they're saying Jeb Bush's I mean, slippage might create an opening for him, but I, I think Bush was, uh, what, at 4% or something last time? So his yeah. slippage is... Has made room for made Donald little. Trump, frankly. Yay. Um, mm. <laughs> but we'll happen. come back to Bush. It's yeah. Trump is just a, a flash in the night. He, oh, 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 big I mean, words. How big many words. times has this dude run for president before? What is this, well, like his fourth four? run? Four. I mean, he's a reality TV star. <laughs> Obviously, he's just playing a role, and this season is going on a little bit longer than the previous. Yeah. I mean, well, I think uh, Kasich, uh, Kasich, I don't remember which one we went with, mm -hmm. but uh, his main appeal is that he's an executive, so he's the conservative bona fides. He's got good long-term establishment appeal, as we're they'd say. We're still talking about this guy? Yeah, we're going to get over him quickly. All right. Fine. Uh, he's got All a right. penchant for alienating the Republican Party base, so it remains to be uh, that seems seen. seems popular these days. Well, yeah, they're saying he's a substitute for Bush or for just the John Huntsman of this particular part of the cycle, mm. which would be a moderate Republican governor beloved of the media, but completely uncaring from the voters. Yeah. Do we know anything else interesting about him, anybody? It. He hated the Cohen brothers. He hated the Cohen brothers? Uh, Whoa. Guy sounds like kind of a doucher to me. That's, uh, that's uh, Yeah, he got that Roots CD and he threw it out the car window. Uh, mm -hmm. Wasn't into Fargo. He's like the Bill Brass. Tried to get his oh, Philistinism. I don't know. He, got, he tried, Bill Brass. This. What was it? He tried to get his local so blockbuster to quit renting it. Huh. He tried to get his local blockbuster to quit renting the Coen Brothers Fargo the movie. The Fargo movie. Guy sounds like a that dick. Was, we don't want him in the office. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Chris Christie. Hmm, who's that guy? Uh, well, he's got a great alliterative name. <laughs> he does. Uh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the combative New Jerseyan is in his second term as governor and previously served as a U.S. attorney. Uh, who wants him to run? Uh, I'd say the moderates and establishment Republicans who don't like Bush or Romney, which is fairly big, actually. Mm -hmm. Big business. Yeah. Um, I'd say probably the people who haven't heard that he's going to jail soon. What? Uh, for, yeah, the huge scandal. Uh, him and half his administration will probably be in jail soon for oh. making store, uh, uh, Hurricane Sandy look like it was worse than it actually was by forcing bridge lane closures and uh, getting what? caught. Wow. So he's basically out of the ra the running, and uh, I think we should move on. Well, look at his face, though. He looks so cuddly. I mean, he's got that lovable kind of uh, pasty sort of doughboy look. He's got a President Taft kind of look to me that uh, is unelectable in an age where there's television. <laughs> wow, that was, that was very <laughs> excellently put. Uh, uh, a President Taft kind of look. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to hand it to Ascot here. He's probably the only person in modern history that even remembers what President Taft looked like. So he, way he got stuck in his back. bathtub. Oh, that guy. That, that guy. guy. Oh, wow. I'm not saying it, but he's hefty. <clears throat> <clears throat> so can we uh, say that he is not going to win this nomination for the Republican seat? I'm going to say no. The tide of opinion has yeah. definitely turned against Christie yeah. even before the Bridgegate indictments, which I think yeah. is what you're just speaking mm -hmm. of, right? Mm -hmm. Citing his horrific favorability, uh, the 538 bluntly puts that Christie's access lanes to the GOP nominations are closed. Oh, they found a picture of Taft. There oh! we go. Oh, the office. You guys Gosh. are killing it back there. I swear <laughs> right. to God, if we paid you anything, I'd say raise it right now. You two. Way to go, Taft. Taft was actually... Huh? Uh, four chickens. Taft was four. actually kind of an impressive president. I'll just give him that. I mean, he's the only president to ever become Chief Justice of the Supreme Court <laughs> after being president, and he actually swore in another president. Wow. wow. Yeah. Also, he looks like he has a really great handlebar mustache, yeah. which that could have been the uh, beginning of um, hipsterdom. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Did Whoa. Taft Way to go, begin Taft. The hipster revolution. Yeah, uh, that was a, a bold statement and just the kind of malarkey that we like to endorse here at the Southern Oregon News Network. <laughs> yeah. uh, news break, Taft actually begun hipsterdom. And if you have any doubts about this, please look it up and try not to squint as you search for that particular title. I would check Huffington Post. Yeah, definitely check the Huffington Post. Huffington Post is super credible. All right. Back to other people that would make horrible presidents. Donald Trump! Let's talk about the big monkey in the room. Oh, man. Who is he? Who is the mogul known as Trump? America's <laughs> great, joyous mistake. He's a real estate developer and a, a reality TV star. Oh, 
uh, excuse me, he's a ex-fired reality TV personality who almost certainly worth, it almost certainly is not worth a fraction of what he describes that he is. Uh, surprisingly, his rivals, the press, and one suspects the Don himself, uh, he is the biggest political story in America today, which is an unfortunate sign of the times in our fair nation. True. Who wants him to run? What do you think? Who's it going to be? Um... I don't think I should speak on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I told I wasn't, uh, I was too spicy to yeah. talk on this story because uh, I got a bit of a potty mouth today. Now, I think it's fair to say that everybody has their opinions, Democrats, Republicans, we all live in the same society side by side. But I believe that everybody should take a quick sit down and come to grips with themselves if you feel that this guy Sharing the screen with me right here. No, wait, right here. <laughs> that, that guy over here. Yeah, no, that guy should be the one running our country. I highly recommend that you invest in a different point of view. I'm going to go ahead and say that you should actually spend a little bit of time sitting in your cat box and defecating and cleaning up your own feces because that's about as much as your opinion is worth in this point. Uh, Trump is a narcissistic white supremacist madman. Yeah, yeah, people have actually uh, yelled white power at some of his rallies, and uh, he didn't He didn't stop. No, he got a little them. fired up. I think he, he described them as enthusiastic, right? He actually, Just enthusiastic. Uh, when, he uh, was quoted the other day as saying after all these mass shootings, his poll numbers are going to go up. Wow. What? I'm moving to Canada, everybody. Did you, uh, did you hear about the new... Um, uh, what are you, I was about to say Supreme Chancellor, but it's, it's, it's not the Supreme <laughs> Chancellor of Canada. Or is it? It's, uh, anyways, this new guy in office, he's, he's pretty great. He hired um, many, many women for his cabinet and is um, doing a bang-up job just uh, promoting that whole scene. If what? only we knew his name. If only we, or Let's look or his title. <laughs> Apparently Supreme Chancellor is not just a galactic title. <laughs> Uh, the people that support our, our fair Trump, um, I would say definitely white supremacists and uh, people that uh, hate immigrants. And also, he exists, I think, as an intellectual curiosity for anybody who wants to see if a badly trained monkey can actually run the country. I've actually mm -hmm. heard a theory that he's a plant by the Hillary Clinton campaign to uh, basically destroy the Republican Party. Oh, I wonder who that fellow that just appeared next yes. to our heads is. <gasps> there Who's he is. That? that is Justin Trudeau. Just oh, prime, oh, oh yeah, um, we were talking about this guy. Yeah, wait a minute. Prime Minister. Supreme Prime Minister. Supreme Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Supreme Prime Minister. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have no understanding of the, the Canadian government. Yeah. I don't know if they so have a So look how handsome this guy is for just a second. This guy is fairly He's handsome. Pretty handsome. And his, is. his wife isn't too bad either. But no. uh, besides no. looks, this guy is pretty smart. He knows what he's talking about. And he is one of the, uh, the on the liberal party's mm -hmm. side. So um, if you get a chance to look him up, I'm not going to give you any more information unless I can read from my phone mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. I, I can go ahead and say that he looks dreamy. We yeah, don't uh, nice. encourage nice. lazy viewership. So we uh, read it yourselves, people. Well, let's, let's move it on. We have a huge pile of these Republicans to slander. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, Trump is a madman. Can um, he win the election? No. There, there's definitely no. been no. as... No. 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 What, he's let's, going to say no. No. Let's keep going. Okay. He's okay. the leader in the field. And he cheats at golf. And he cheats Probably. at Probably. golf. Probably. I'm almost positive yeah. he cheats at golf. Jeb Bush. Oh, Jeb. Oh, Jeb. Oh, so his own who, mother uh, said we've had enough of the Bushes. Wow, really? <laughs> she took it back. Huh. That was very nice of her. <laughs> Uh -oh. Who is Bush? Right. So who is Bush? Yeah, who is this guy? Um, uh, yeah. um, the brother and son of presidents. Uh, he served two terms as governor of Florida from 1999 to 2007. Yes. Uh, who wants him to run? Who wants uh, him to win? Who wants I want him to, him to run. The establishment, Republicans, yeah. George Bush, major Wall Street donors. Um, yeah. You know, sadly, I, good, I right? heard that he's sort of one of the more thoughtful and, and mild-mannered of the Bush clan. It's... It's sad that yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I was actually, uh, I was on the ellipsis machine today and I looked up and I saw his, his presidential po poster and it's just saying Jeb for president. They're not mentioning Bush at all. Nope. <laughs> yeah. nope. Have you ever watched Oliver Stone's movie uh, W? There's a, an illuminating scene where uh, Bush Sr. tells Bush Jr. it was supposed to be your brother. 
Oh, wow. That you've shamed the family name. And it was always supposed to be Jeb. He was set up to be president. Hmm. But uh, his cowboy, his fake cowboy brother uh, was no, uh, no competition for his nerdy um, <laughs> Spanish-speaking... Uh, Functionality? Yeah. <laughs> He's the only candidate that's uh, married to a... Uh, a foreign national, I believe, and uh, has actually done uh, campaign ads in Spanish. Wow. Wow. Uh, he, and he's an excellent businessman. He's, but he's turned out to be a lackluster candidate and is delivering bad performances in debates. Uh, the basically, stutterer. Yeah, the yeah. stutterer. Bummer. Conventional wisdom is that Bush would eventually rise to the top. That wisdom has since evaporated in the Republican Party. S openly saying that he used to smoke pot didn't even help him. Yeah, hmm. wow. Uh, go Worked figure. so well for his brother, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. fundraising has slowed, poll numbers have dropped, and his campaign is basically starting to lay off its staffers already, which is never a good sign mid-campaign. Many reporters and pundits think that his time is nearly up. Bush insists that he's going to soldier through and win. Time will tell. Moving on. Yeah. Lindsey Graham. Neat. Who is Lindsey Graham? Uh, he's a senator. Okay. Is he from South Carolina? Yes, and he was John McCain's closest ally in the small caucus of Republicans who are moderate on many issues but very hawkish on foreign policy. Well, it's not so good right now. Yeah, who do you think would want him to win? Well, John McCain, naturally. Well, yeah, naturally. Not John McCain would be into it. Joe Lieberman, maybe? Maybe Joe Lieberman, maybe. I don't know. Eh. Can he win the nomination? No. Uh, Look at that face. No, he seems to be no. spending a lot of his time running around making sure that there's a, a credible uh, hawkish voice continues to be heard in the primaries. It seemed like he started his campaign almost as a lark, but that he started to enjoy the ride, plus he's shown that he's a great performer on the stump, which is an old-fashioned word for standing up and flapping beak. Right. Uh, he promises that he'd have a rotating first lady if he wins. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? I nominate Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey is the nomination of choice. I think a rotating first lady means that he says he's going to be a slut when he gets into office. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's just that's a nice bold. way of saying that. No shaming, though. Yeah. No shame from this guy, so hats <laughs> off to you. We'll see you in the long walk to the middle. Next up. George Pataki. Pataki? Pataki. 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 Uh, who is he? Why? I don't know. I uh, ousted <laughs> incumbent uh, Mario Como in '94, and served three years as governor of New York. Uh, who wants him to run? It's not clear. That is not clear. Uh, uh, who is this guy? What does he stand for? What do we know? Well, the the sort of uh, northeastern Republicans once had a significant sway in the party, and I think those days have long passed. So I'm going to say his chances of winning the nominations are about as good as the chances of finding water on Mars. Hmm. Right, moving on. This is a sore subject. Rick Santorum. <laughs> Such a oh, that powerful guy. name. Picture of Rick coming up. Uh, Rick Santorum, he represented Pennsylvania in the Senate from 1995 to, I think, 2006, if I remember correct. He was the runner-up for the GOP nomination in 2000 and. 12. Uh, mm -hmm. Rick Santorum is a huge favorite for major social conservatives. The former Pennsylvania senator didn't have any obvious constituentory in constituary, constitutentiary? Cons cons constituency. Oh, constituency. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yet he still went quite a long way, and Foster Freeze, who bankrolled much of Santorum's campaign then, is ready for another round of throwing money away, I guess. I don't know if he can win the nomination, though. I think this guy is a bit of a chump. Uh, no. I think it's rigged, all of it. Uh, well, of course. Well, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Electoral College, don't even get us started on that crap. Tune in mm -hmm. for next episode's uh, debunking of the Electoral College. But in the meantime, yep. Santorum believes that he deserves respect for his showing in 2012. You can tell by his somewhat pinched expression on his face that he is certainly a man who deserves respect. Uh, but until then, he basically remains trapped in the Republican basement. Mike Huckabee. Hey, there we go. Uh, Love this guy. Ordain preacher, former <laughs> yeah. governor of Arkansas, and Fox News host. He Always ran. A good sign, yeah. Right? <laughs> mm. 
ran a strong campaign in 2008, finishing third, but sat out in 2002. 12. I D hear you. That uh, one. 2012. Uh, Sorry. It's very popular amongst uh, evangelical Christians. Extremely Obviously, popular amongst yeah. evangelical Christians. Uh, I think uh, he doesn't actually have much of a chance in the polling. He's still struggling to prove his own relevancy. Uh, since he last ran in 2008, a new breed of social conservatives have come into the party, and he's had trouble keeping up with their fresh new perspective. Like uh, people like Ted Cruz, Ben Carson, a couple of those guys. His brand of moral crusading feels a bit out of date, uh, see crusades out of date, and his uh, extreme staunch opposition to same-sex marriage, uh, which is a curious choice to attack uh, Beyonce, I think, on that one. Uh, Huckabee's answer has been to play out as a populist, but that has its own pitfalls. Well, oh, we're going to have to speed this up considerably. Yes. Faces we've... fire from chicken. Okay, Ben Carson. Tax hikes. Tax hikes. Ben Carson. <laughs> ben Carson. <clears throat> Celebrated pediatric neurosurgery at John Hopkins. Uh, Carson's become a bit of a conservative folk hero after broadside against Obamacare in the 2013 National Prayer Breakfast. Uh, who wants him to win? I don't know, grassroots conservatives, uh, pollsters that have boosted him to the top. Mm -hmm. Republican insiders cringe at the idea of Carson getting in there, but he is an incredibly appealing personal story, a voyage from poverty to path-breaking neurosurgery. Which is disputed. Which is disputed, but he's got none of the normal taints of politics. And he became famous for a surgery that was unsuccessful. So explain okay. that one to me. Yeah, can he win the party? Uh, not since Dwight Eisenhower, I think, has any, either party nominated anyone without prior elected experience for the presidency. Nonetheless, he has impressive staying power. I think that's... Somehow. Yeah, somehow he's hanging in there. Uh, but he does have a, a little kind of incontinence. He continues to compare ISIS to the founding fathers, which is a horrible idea. Hmm. Wrapping it up. Uh, Carly Fior... Carly Fiorana. Uh, Fiorana. What? Can we say about Florina? Uh, she's not going to win. She, yeah, is making too much stuff up. Yeah, she's really but, making a I lot mean, of stuff up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody really likes that. Right. She yeah. uh, campaigned unsuccessfully against Barbara Boxer. We, uh, we're almost out of time here to describe the uh, Republican mashup here. But uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I think we didn't even talk about who's actually going to. I don't know. Anyway, Who's she's actually going to win. Yeah. Definitely. She's got a lot of strength. She's got a lot of fight. Uh, Fiorina is not going to be the president of the United States. That's not going to happen. Wrapping up, uh, they're doing 10 hands to us, which ten is, hands. I never learned what oh. 10 hands mean. Oh, this might be a second countdown. Yeah. Five seconds to the end of the show. Uh, We're going to tuning in. Yeah. See you guys uh, later. It's, yeah. Hope it's you learned fun. something. Yeah. Hopefully they'll keep us talking about it. Demon Sheep, Bocker Blimp, Marco Rubio. There's other. Other candidates. Sign off, you guys. Uh, yeah. Cuban.